True peace is a gift in great supply, only available over the counter of Christ's great love for us. Top of the morning to you. As we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God more fully, we get this direction in the Beatitudes of Matthew 5, 9. Blessed are the workers and maintainers of peace, for these shall be called sons of God. The peace we are to maintain comes from Father God through Jesus Christ. Hebrews 13, 20 calls him the God of peace. Verse 21 tells us he equips us with all we need to do to do his will in order to produce in us through the power of Christ, every good thing that is pleasing to him. 2 Thessalonians 3.16 May the Lord of peace give you his peace at all times and in every situation. Our job is to trust and have faith enough and do what it says in Colossians 3.15 Let the peace that comes from Christ rule in our hearts. For as members of the body of Christ, we are called to live in peace and always be thankful. This is not something we generate on our own, Colossians 1.20. God made peace with everything in heaven and in earth by means of Christ's blood on the cross. All we have to do in Philippians 4.6-7, 4, 6, 4, 6 don't worry about anything, instead pray about everything, then we will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. This peace will guard our hearts and minds as we live in Christ Jesus. Verse 8, just fix our thoughts on things that are true, full of honor, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy things. Verse 9, then put these things in practice, and the God of peace will be with us. Notice that nowhere does it say the more we focus on the news or social media, the more peace we will have. Jesus told us in John 14, 27, I am leaving you with a gift of peace of mind and heart, and the peace I give you is a gift the world cannot give. There's no pill made by man that can give you the peace of God. Numbness is not peace. It's not the same as God's peace. Galatians 5, 22, Holy Spirit produces the fruit of peace in our lives as, as well as love, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness, the full package of what it takes to be successful in this life of faith. The good news is there's time, there's in these times of supply shortages, it's free to us and available over the counter of God's love. Words of encouragement, Romans 5.1, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. What a valuable commodity we have in these days of darkness and lawlessness. You can't, you can't buy it. It's a gift we receive if only we repent from our sins and believe God can do what he says he does. Have a great day.